Hello everyone and welcome to the first episode of the unofficial Chesterton podcast. On this podcast we will be covering a range of school topics and events. I've got my friends here to help me. Let's get going. Come on everyone, say hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Hola. No, not gonna say hello. All right, we might as well um, get right into it then. So first on our topics list is uh, school lunches. So what do we want to say about them? Not enough. I haven't eaten one. I haven't eaten one in nine months. Really? But did you used to have school lunches then? I did. I did, yeah. Ooh, why'd you stop? I stopped because I did not want to get COVID. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if infected. school lunches spread COVID, I think I'm, I'm screwed. I mean, come on, it's not that high likelihood of getting COVID from it. I mean, only 200 kids breathe over it. <laughs> yeah. I think they're definitely all getting good, worse, though. Good. They've got worse oh, since yeah, year seven. Sure. Like, they're degrading. Definitely. I just hate the way they do the pr- like pricing now. It's just like, it's all in one. Yeah, like, oh, I'll charge you a fixed amount and you're only allowed to take as much as I've of charged course. you. What if you're really hungry? What if you just really want back, more rem- Who remembers so back in the day when like the drinks were not a complete yeah. scam? I oh, remember the days when everyone was would just well get drench and Radnorf is. Radnorf oh, is. Yeah. Radnorf I, I swear they got rid Radnorf of the drenches. Was great. They got rid of the drenches for like. No yeah, they got rid of everything except like actually... the shitty fucking 60p cups that no one wants. They don't even have drinks now. It's peak. Actually, they're charging us the same amount and they're not giving us drinks. Of course. No, it's really annoying. Yeah, I, wait, what, what was their thought process? Do they think like drinks spread COVID or something? <laughs> Probably. Probably. But you got to remember, they're, they're almost, they're not quite, but they're almost energy drinks, and energy drinks almost. just kill yeah, every almost, single almost, thing yeah. they touch. Almost. Yeah, exactly. You know, we, we uh, in PSHE, we've learned about someone who had five a day, and uh, yeah, their stomach was dissolved. Yeah. Because if you drink, because nice. if you drink like five barrels of water in a day, then you're not going to die. Mm. Yeah, exactly. Just yeah, really yeah. So energy drinks are bad for you is what I learned. So I decided to follow in the footsteps of the teacher who are teaching us and so I just decided to bring in a massive cup of coffee and just chug it yeah I mean it's fine because that it's is allowed. a lot more healthy it's allowed oh, apparently of course, of course yeah it's allowed you just put as much sugar in as you want you get the caffeine it's all beautiful but it's not fruit flavor so possible, therefore yeah. it isn't an energy drink therefore yep. you won't die from it instantly hmm yeah, yeah it's safe, it's safe. Yeah. alright so well as well as school lunches I think uh, I think we've got another thing that's been quite annoying for pretty much everyone in year 11 and that no is No idea what you mean, exams. there's nothing annoying ever. <laughs> no, 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 it's completely fine. You know, our school is great right now, isn't it? It's so fun. Yeah, Absolutely, absolutely perfect it's, in every single it's way. It's great, in case, stressful in case any, calm. In case any of the teachers are listening, uh, your CAG tasks, which are not tests, they're quizzes. They're all brilliant, not stressful, totally, everything is working fine. I mean, I don't yeah, mind them. Completely working fine. <laughs> yes, and... Yeah. Yeah. It's good. I, think, yeah uh, well. I think the tests, they're just a bit confusing. I'm just wondering why they exist. Like, it's a good question. I mean, yeah, I we mean, all I wonder, we all it. wonder. So they're so, like, for RE, they just give you everything. But then for like, other exams, like some other ones, well, I guess we I'm haven't really honestly, had many yet, but... Yeah. I think the most important thing we have to talk about is what is the relationship between Friar Lawrence and Romeo? I that mean, is a good question. It has to be said. Yeah, what, what is it? Yeah. No, yeah. yeah. Nobody He's knows. A, he is a father figure, to be fair. He's uh, an advisor. There. He's kind yeah. of a father figure, kind of a friend, mm. you know... I think yeah. I just gotta, gotta get my gotta get my little, little thing out there. Little thing. Misleads yeah. him, though. How many, uh, how many paragraphs? <laughs> <laughs> that came out different than I wanted it to. Okay. No, it didn't. But I actually have no idea what you meant to Friar say. Lauren, Friar Lawrence is a manipulative sociopath. You can tell this because he is present for every suicide attempt in the play. I mean, it's true. He also gets <laughs> off scot-free at the end. He's like, I mean, yeah. Because the prince I is think... like, nah, this man, bruv, you're holy. Yeah, I mean, yeah, he is holy. He is a holy man. He is a holy man. Although he doesn't act, he doesn't act like a holy man. He doesn't act for a holy man. But my you know, opinion he is a holy on man. Friar Lawrence is that he's a very manipulative man. Exactly. I mean, exactly. No, I don't think the friar is. I think the only thing he is guilty of is being extremely ignorant, causing the deaths of multiple of like three, no four, 
six people. I swear, he, he, he could have stopped loads of the deaths. He could have stopped loads yeah, of literally. the deaths. Like, come on. Like, how long does he it take to walk from? And yet he doesn't. And I yet know he, he doesn't. Does not like, stop the just come on. Come on, Freya. It's come a on. Bit, You're a meant bit, to be wise. Yeah. You're meant to be a wise, holy man. Juliet like, at should... the end, she's sad. She's more than Romeo. And. And he's like, now nah, I hear footsteps. I'm going to run away and leave the suicidal lady to her own devices. Because that's a brilliant idea. To be fair, idea. though, if Juliet had survived, the play would have been quite... Yeah, it would have been kind of pointless. <laughs> it would have yeah, been a bit dead. So, oh, we lost yeah. Romeo. And nice. I mean, we all know that it was predestined to happen from that prologue. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it was always going to happen, so it's completely innocent, obviously. <laughs> Imagine if the play was just the prologue. That's it. That's that's it. They just it. ended after the prologue. I mean... <laughs> You wouldn't lose any of the <laughs> exactly. substance yeah. of the plot. Yeah, exactly. You just save on fine. valuable oxygen. How many uh, paragraphs did you lads write for it then? A, a bit. Uh, I mean, we were supposed to write four, I yeah. think. No, you were. were we? But yeah, I, I only wrote two and a half uh -oh. because for some reason I decided to write a full A4 page per paragraph. Hey, same. A full A4 page? Oh, you must have big handwriting. Oh my that God. would have taken yeah. ages for me. Wow. I mean, it took me the whole time. Did you did you take like even a, like a ten second break, or did you just write solidly through the whole thing? I just wrote. <laughs> you just kept writing, you know. Like normally, I had the problem. I have the problem of not having any ideas, but this time I had the problem of having too much <laughs> ideas. I just had so many, I had to write them all down. But you're allowed to. And in the end, I didn't even explore your class were allowed one of to have them your iPads properly, out, right? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we were allowed yeah, to have our iPads fun. out, but that only to fun. look at the book. Did any of and lads... my teacher actually, I think, once went around the Ooh. entire classroom and made sure no one was doing anything. Yeah. So they were making sure no one cheated. Did you do anything I've naughty heard, on I've the iPads? Wonderful, wonderful tales of people Ooh. who just took that little PDF and just made their own one with their own little. Yeah, I, I will neither confirm nor deny what I did there. on my iPad during the exam. <laughs> I still think they don't realize that you can multitask on iPads, like, really, really yeah. easily. Yeah. Not, and not that and I actually obviously. didn't have my not iPad, have so Miss just gave me her laptop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, really? Just the whole laptop? Yes. Nah. <laughs> because they didn't have a single copy of the text. Nah. Oh my really? god. That, could they not have printed That's one out? False. Like, come on. Oh yeah, but I mean, it would have been a shit ton of printing, to be fair. Yeah, um, and you also can't control F like everyone else, so it makes it unbalanced. Yeah. Uh, the, wait, the laptop, did you just hop on uh, Microsoft Teams while you were at it and just had a little bit of fun in the settings? <laughs> <laughs> you have been, you could have. Uh, I I honestly, I should have, but I don't think I... I because I sat at the front, uh, so Miss was kind of next to me the whole time she would have seen that. Ooh. Oh, sad. You yeah. just casually delete yeah. every assignment from every class. I would have loved to do that. <laughs> what exam do you think was the hardest, though, out of all the ones we've had so far? Which is not Ooh. many. But... Geography. Chemistry. Geography. You think chemistry? Chemistry was alright for me, I thought. I would say geography. That's the only one that I actually think I heavily underperformed on. What did you find tricky about it? Well, I didn't know that water treatment was a topic on the test until this morning. Oh, oh. wow. Wait, water treatment? Oh, what was that thing, doing yeah. on that test? It's a... They have a different, different how test. water is treated, like fre like the UK gets its water from freshwater sources. Yeah. How how is fresh water turned into <laughs> drinking water? Pot it. Potable water, I think you'll find is the word you're looking for. Yeah, potable. Yeah, potable. Actually, it's pronounced potable. 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 I mean, you could just say you could just say distill it. Sure. You could just say distill it, and that kind of fixes all of your problems. Yeah. But that isn't sense. how it works. So, yeah. it doesn't actually fix all of your problems? Shut. Uh-huh. What about the, uh, the RE exam? <laughs> like, they just gave everything beforehand in a video. Oh, it was they good did, it was good. they did, yeah. Was... Yeah, they answered the questions in the video. I mean, if they're gonna, if they're gonna force us to take RE, they may as well just let us yeah, have the answers. Yeah, they may as well just let us have yeah, all the answers. I'm looking at my, I'm looking at my audio mix, so I just had to put my glass down, and I just saw the audio go... Oh. All the way up nice. to the top. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. What about some good things about school? I mean, there must be some good things somewhere. Oh, yeah, there are for sure. Mm, I'm going to have to think about that one. <laughs> going to have to sleep on it. They have a good ethos. Yeah, no, the thing don't. that people... Everyone no, follows don't. it. Remember to realise your course. potential. Oh. Yeah. Okay, that is, not, that is not on the plan, but I think we just have to get the... Realise your potential. Realise your potential. Realise your potential. 
Yeah, yeah. You have to realize your potential. Yeah, it's it's completely unimportant whether or not you achieve your potential. Just know what it is. <laughs> yeah. Just know what it is. If you mm -hmm. just consider what it might be, then then you're fine. It's like, oh, I have a potential. No, you don't. Great, you just got all nights. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, I mean, that's alright. School's okay. It could be worse. Mm -hmm. It could be worse. It so, I guess could be you worse. could say the, the school community is decent, you know, the... In the, the grand squad. scheme of school, the yeah, people are decent. The people, the people are Administration right. isn't, no, I, but I hate the students you are good. Now the community isn't decent, I hate all of you. I don't want to be here. <laughs> fair enough. This that's terrible. Fair Disgusting. Skills. Yeah, I'm being held against my will. <laughs> Somebody help Forced me. to record the podcast. <laughs> Yeah, we yeah. just we just got you on the photo. We just pulled you in. You're like you, you you're joining us. Like we don't you don't yeah. get a say in the matter. Actually, not we didn't mean to have a section in this podcast about school being good. It's just it's just uh, staff members have showed up at all of our houses with guns. <laughs> <laughs> this is a call for help. Yeah, if the podcast ends if the podcast ends suddenly right here, then you'll know what happened to us. <laughs> it's reception. Yeah, you'll know what happened. You'll know what happened. <laughs> All right, all right. Um, what? I I think we should do this in every episode. If we do ever end up getting guests on, I reckon we should ask them what their favorite subject is. I reckon. I know it's a boring question, but it's sort of. Well, what's well, what's your favorite subject? Well, what's your favorite subject? <laughs> yeah, you're the guest here, despite being the host. You're, you're the oh, guest. Oh, okay. Guest yes, host. you're My the guest. My favorite and the subject. Host. Uh, that is a good question. Um, uh, I don't really like maths. Uh, that was not the a question. Ma <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Uh, what What do I like? I guess I like English. I like controversial take on things. But I don't necessarily mind English. And biology is that right. is pretty controversial. I know. Wait, what do you think of English then? Annoying. Literature or language? Ooh. Yeah, I prefer lang. Oh, I prefer language because you can just. Do I it think literature is too much yeah, fun to guess. Language is better. Like language is better. It's still pretty useless, but language is better. Literature doesn't make any sense yeah. because if the school for some reason had a motorsport class where you learnt about engineering vehicles, you'd be more likely to use that knowledge than to become an author. Yeah. To be fair. Pretty much, fair. yeah. I reckon we should look at other things in literature than just Shakespeare, because I'm getting a bit sick of Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Well, I mean, things. literature's over. No yeah. more literature. I know, but like, why? When we had the chance, why didn't they cover something else? Like, why didn't they anything? just come with? Like, I think a Lord we did Inspector Calls. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, Inspector Calls is just Shakespeare. Calls and a different the other one. Jekyll and Hyde as well. Jekyll and Hyde was. It's Jekyll all just Hyde's Shakespeare. Good. We need Lord of the Flies. That's what we need. The oh, only reason I didn't like. Wait. Hold on, was it Jekyll and Hyde or Inspector Calls that replaced Animal Farm? Uh, it was, I don't know, Inspector. but whatever Jekyll it is, I'm so glad. Yeah, it was Animal. Was. It was Inspector Calls. I'm wasn't it? so annoyed by the fact that they replaced Animal Farm. Wait, did we used to look at that? Because it was on the shelf, wasn't it, back in? Yes. The... I mean, Animal it's... Farm's an interesting. I actually book, read that. Uh, I've never yeah. read it, but I've really? always wanted to. I have a copy. It sounds like a really good book. You have a copy. Right, just throw it out your window. Maybe he'll catch it. No. You know? Yeah, <laughs> just I, I live quite far away, so throw it yeah, really yeah, hard. Yeah, long shot it. You know, we did ultimate frisbee, so we we have practice in this. Yeah, area. Ult Oh my god, ultimate frisbee was oh. great. <laughs> okay, yeah, yes, that if, was if we're on the topic of good things, ultimate frisbee yeah. is definitely up there. People always get so competitive over it, though. That's what I find. Yeah, it's P. That, I mean, <laughs> P so is definitely a decent subject when it's actually like fun. Yeah, yeah. climbing. Yeah. Climbing's good. You know, they, climbing is um, a bit. Yeah. Oh, climbing's all right. I mean, I yeah, but like you have to. Zumba. The person could just drop you. The person could just drop you. Literally, they can just let go of the rope. And meow, plonk. It's because you're, you're literally the size of the wall. So. <laughs> I can just, <laughs> I could just step up there. Yeah, it's easy, easy. Wait, in climbing, you have people holding you up. Yeah, you should do with a rope. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's so it's yeah, a bouldering wall. No, yeah, but they like, I I think that it would be like tied. To something? Nah. No, no. Just in case, it's you know, tight. they let go yeah, of the no, rope. Hooked onto their harness. Yeah. yeah. If you really don't like someone, just become their partner. The school school climbing wall is mank. That's all I'm gonna say. It's I mean, not the biggest. Yeah. Honestly. It's not not the most massive. And also, all the holds kind of spin. not the best. It's all right, I guess. I mean, overall, yeah. school is okay. Definitely yeah. be worse. We definitely yeah. know teachers better. I mean, which 11. lessons definitely. would you say are kind of? Which lessons would you say are kind of chill, chilled out? 
Cheddar, cheddar lettuce. Lettuce. Is it? Generally pea. Pea, definitely. Um, occasionally yeah. I mean, it depends on what you take, and it depends if people are competitive. But if you if you take it with a grain of salt, then, you know... I mean, regarding pea, if you take it with people you don't dislike, you know, which should be most people, yeah. you're all good. You're yeah. all good. Uh, the thing I like about pea is you can just switch. Like, if you don't like something, then you can just switch, and they don't like <laughs> uh, Yeah, I know all about... I know all about switching. <laughs> Traitor! <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I. Uh, I think we should do swimming again, though. What was it? Why was it that I switched? What were, what were we doing? You just at the really time? hate everybody. You just hate everyone with a passion. Uh, we were doing Zumba. Zumba. Were you, were you doing Zumba? Because I was just like, oh no. Oh wait, no. We were doing. We weren't doing Zumba. We were doing. Uh, we were going to the gym. Oh, fitness gym would sweet. be fine. Wait, what's it fitness called? Sweet. Fitness sweet. Yeah. Fitness Why would you drop that? I, I switched to doing trampolining for some reason unknown to mankind because I hate right. trampolining. <laughs> Why trampolining some people trampolining was what we could have switched to. <laughs> you took my place in trampolining. <laughs> I think uh, so. Oh no 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 no! I switched to badminton. If I if I wasn't recording, then I would have such a scrap with you. Right <laughs> now. No, no 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 no! I want to see was, that. It was it was badminton. That's what it was. Badminton, badminton. is actually. No, great. you can't save yourself <laughs> it's now. Too late. No, Sorry. and then we moved on to trampolining. And then we moved on to climbing. That's what it was. I'd take trampolining. Why do people dislike trampolining so much? Because it's like, you spend most of the time standing on the side of the trampoline. No, but, no, but, that, no, but I swear last time we did it, it was in a much smaller group and we actually got good We had good like time. 10 people, yeah, yeah. It was better then, but even then better. you still spent... And you were just jumping around. Like, it's okay. Well, but... it's fun! Bouncing yeah, on the trampoline! Jumping is fun! Jump, would you... The jumping is good. It's when it's like, haha, land on your face. Oh no, no I went the, too the cycling, far. I've broken every last single year was the best. Oh, cycling I really is enjoy the front you get landing. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Snap I your back. I don't think I've ever gotten a front landing. What, you just yes. put your okay, hands down. That would don't explain die. why you still like trampolining. <laughs> okay. I hate it. Like I, I've tried a couple of times. I've gotten whiplash, <laughs> broken a couple of my neck bones. Oh my god. Just do it right. <laughs> don't get your massive chin and don't smack your chin on the trampoline. Just put your hands there. And then of you're fine. Yeah. You put your hands chin. there properly. Ah, uh, yes. The, the age-old <laughs> advice. Just be better. Yeah, just be better. I mean, yeah, it is advice. One time, I actually almost, like, snapped my entire head off <laughs> oh. in one go. Because I... You know that, like, thing where you, like, hold up your chin with both hands? Yeah. Yeah. And then you like have your elbows out on either side. That's what I did. Oh, front I didn't have my hands uh, flat. I didn't see properly what you were supposed to do. Oh, right. And Rip. so my elbows landed first, like a l pushing my entire head up. Nice. Mm, that sounds fun. Yes. That sounds very uh, healthy. Uh, do, do you want to get on to the next topic? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, really. no, stay here forever. Uh, is it, next is it uniform? topic seems to be yeah uniform. Yes, uniform. uniform. I don't. I don't think necessarily it's actually mind the uniform, but I okay. think they should give us more freedom in what. Like, I think if it's just for like trousers and that, you should just be able to wear anything that's dark, and they should just yeah, allow it. I, I mean, See, I kind of agree. main argument for um having a uniform policy is the fact that it would be distracting if we didn't. No, it would not. But it's only distracting if only one person isn't in uniform. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like, yeah. if everyone's not in uniform, then it's not going to be distracting. Yeah. Yeah. I don't mind the uniform, but I feel like they should not get such- they should not get so salty about, like, minor details. I think they've given up, though. Like, a lot, I see a lot of they people coming in in non-full black shoes and that sort of stuff. There's people coming in like shoes and white bits on it. <laughs> I want this. Some, so someone, it's all right. Stop somebody the here might be doing that. Where well, we won't, we won't With mention. With the bright that. white soles. <laughs> I mean, oh, I've, I've again, heard uh, I've heard black jeans are a thing. You know, mm. but I wouldn't do jeans. anything about that. I don't think you're allowed those. No, you're, well, if they notice, they, they don't like it. But they don't usually notice because it's well, quite you hard say to notice. That. I reckon they should. Uh, the thing I don't like is how they like hate it if you wear something on top of your T-shirt that isn't the jumper. Oh, like, oh yeah, that's just that the one. weirdest rule. Like, yeah, why? it's like what? It's like what if See, it's like hot but this? What if it's warm but raining? And I kind yeah, of want to wear the raincoat. Jumper. <laughs> but what if you exactly. don't want to wear the jumper because it's too hot? Yeah, some teachers are just a little cool. bit too strict about the uniform. Yeah. But some just don't care. Like, a good deal of teachers just don't just don't check. I feel like some of them kind of sympathise. They're just like, oh yeah, they just give This is just. My form tutor always used to check, but I've been coming into school the last, like, week wearing the wrong shoes and she Legend. hasn't noticed yet. Mm. 
That's f- <laughs> yeah, well, I think I think they don't care. Like, what's the point? Like, who's gonna buy new shoes like this sort of no thing? No one. Especially with like COVID, like y- you literally cannot buy new yeah. shoes. Yeah, you just don't. To be especially honest. one set of feet. Unless, Unless you, you go get, like, to Tesco or something, thing, right? but no one's gonna buy Tesco <laughs> um, shoes. Yeah. yeah, like I every <laughs> single day, every lesson, I've been wearing a over my um, navy jumper. I've been wearing a fleece, a navy fleece, mm. and the oh, teachers yeah. notice. Wait, is the fleece a school fleece? That's is it like true. random? No. With... Oh, really? No, it's just a Absolute random fleece. Absolute legend. And nobody cares. Actually, no. Two geography teachers care. <laughs> and I don't understand what their grudges are. It's the geography teachers. It's all them. They're the ones. They're the wrong ones in the school. There's yeah, one good for sure. geography yeah. teacher. There's all, I mean, there's good teachers everywhere. Like, every subject has good teachers. There's probably even good French teachers. But they've been some of the good ones. Oh yeah, all the teachers running off to the other schools. It's like, just stay here, He's please stay here. <laughs> please, we're lonely. It's like, don't go to Downer Market. No no one wants to go to Downer Market. I reckon there's no students in any of the other schools. I don't think there like, are. A theory. Just a little theory here. With with the Learning Alliance, they've increased, like, restrictions on, like, iPads and stuff. Oh, that's all. Have they? Yeah. I don't have an app. Oh, iPad gang. Thing. Hi, my I think the best thing is if you come to the school, they give you a big speech about how great and how useful the iPads are. And yeah, I think <laughs> it, this is another thing the school does kind of well, is that they utilize iPads and technology in the sort of things they do. But the fact that literally almost everything is blocked is just... Yeah. Like, when when's the last time you've heard someone say Google Docs is extremist content? Like, come <laughs> on. Yeah, it's just annoying, you know, really. Like, and also, if you look at it, from what I understand... I could be wrong, but I think if you pay the full cost for the iPad, like that you pay each month for the school, it's actually cheaper to just get a new iPad, yeah. which won't be blocked yeah. and will be a lot newer. Yeah, and the thing about how like you'll get warranty on the school iPads is a bit stupid because with a home iPad, you're gonna treat it way better than a school iPad. Yeah. <laughs> Let's be real. So honestly, I feel like the reason school iPads break is just because people don't care. It's not really that yeah. actually. They're barely usable about- to be honest. Yeah, what are you going to say? About everything being blocked, everything everything useful is blocked. Mm. Uh, Gmail is blocked, yeah, so why? I can't verify my uh, any of my accounts and say computer science. Yeah. And also, there are some sites that really should be blocked, <laughs> but are not. Now, I'm not going to name any no, names, no. but there, there are some sus yeah. sites out there that they just haven't decided to block and also for OneDrive is many blocked. years now Wait, despite, OneDrive is blocked. despite like us all having uh, whatever Microsoft Office 365 I think thing. GitHub got blocked it did, at which, one point they I, I think everything. it got unblocked since then I don't think so every because no one had access to the stuff but I'm not I'm not sure if it has been it unblocked, hasn't been unblocked but I know they d- it hasn't okay. why has YouTube just been unblocked like where did that no come idea. from it's I mean, yeah, good YouTube, though, it's good. okay, uh, Gmail, not okay. No, I think Gmail must be unblocked by now. If they've unblocked YouTube, they must have unblocked Gmail. No, I tried. They didn't. Oh, right. They probably read some article about Gmail scams or something. <laughs> I don't know. Scared yeah. some oh, angry yeah. parents going to show up on them because... Yeah. See, what, see what, I reckon, what I reckon it is, is they were... What I reckon it is, is at the start of this year, they got some new I- IT guy in. No, and they it was... a YouTube tutorial? It, and no, no, no. no. People was it was the council enforced higher restrictions on... Council? Like, what, what are they doing, like, butting their noses into this sort of stuff? I would Just like to know alone. why all internet speed tests are blocked. Yeah, why do they want us to test the internet speed? Like, I tried... What, what, are, they what, are, they what are they hiding? What are they hiding about the internet speed today? <laughs> I fully paid off my iPad, and they just... They're like, App Store? No, not happening. Nah, nah, nah. can't happening. have it. No, you pay for the like, iPad, but you don't get the App Store. The App Store yeah. I swear back in, like, you know the really old iPad Minis? Back in year 8, oh. I feel like the iPads used to be okay. Like, they were really bad, but Remember they were sort of unlocked. Remember explain everything. Like, sometimes. Like, I know that I accidentally got given a year 8 one, and that was unblocked on pretty much everything. Now, but, you remember? Yeah. do you remember explain everything? Vaguely. On the, oh, on the ancient year 7 ones. Vaguely, vaguely. I remember all those stupid apps like... Was it that Poplet? Wasn't there like Puppet? Oh, some no. Weird puppet oh, one? Seesaw. Oh, 
Seesaw. I saw we used that like once, and they just gave. Yeah, it. I swear Seesaw was oh, only no, the ever used. Just kept in telling there. us to use it. And yeah. Like I didn't upload a single thing on there. In R, they kept asking you to. Oh yeah, in R, they used I never it all did. the time. I never used it. Yeah. So stupid. Like just honestly, I'm glad they've just streamlined everything to Microsoft Teams now. Yeah. Teams if we is just keep switching. All right. Yeah. Teams is better. Oh, I know. It's definitely <laughs> better. Than, uh, Edmodo. I mean, it's not really Rip better than Edmodo. 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 Why Rip didn't Edmodo. Why didn't Edmodo just invest it's in programmers? It's worse with assignments. The only thing it has going for it is the video calls. I kind I prefer the teams like HUD though. There's no um ads as far as I can they tell. They could have literally just linked to like Skype or yeah, something. Yeah, why didn't they? Like surely they that was a priority. A business partnership with Zoom. Yeah, like surely that would have been a number one priority before lockdown was to get like a good live lesson system. <laughs> no, they didn't care. But really apparently care. not. They eventually got one. Unless unless yeah, one exists least. and I haven't. Is it does it exist? They probably use no, I haven't yeah. checked. Or something. I haven't. Chuck, I haven't checked up on Edmodo in ages. Oh, Google me. Oh, I, I think they know. deleted my account. Oh, wait, let's see if they One deleted mine. First. Ooh, let's see. Uh, it's loading. Ooh, it's loading. Whoa. No way, no way. It's still no here. Way. Yo. Oh, I've got some homework late. It's uh, about two oh, years no. late. Um, don't, don't tell anyone, guys. Don't tell anyone. Yeah, they are oh actually God, still all old. standing behind us with pistols. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Happy New Year! Whoa! Okay, thank you, Edmodo. Bit late, but alright. So that's the thing with Edmodo, it just has news endlessly circling, but it's so old. Hmm. Yeah. Like, I don't know if they've changed it, but like, I yeah. swear the news was just so Hey guys, have you heard about the LeBron James school? <laughs> No, yeah. Enlightened yeah. Oh. <laughs> Look guys, the world's biggest aircraft. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember. I have no idea what you guys are talking yeah. about. It's it's uh, on Edmodo. Those like news, news stories, stories on Edmodo. Oh wait, news stories on Edmodo. Oh, yeah, oh. it's like Edmodo. News. Yeah, it was the same three stories for like the whole time that they had those. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. Oh, that was weird. You know, there's so much stuff in Edmodo that they never use. They only use like the PDF uploading yeah. or like other things similar or the um, assignments. <laughs> Because there's actually quite a lot of stuff on Edmodo that they didn't use, which is Oh yeah, there was loads of like, remember the Barry the Bookworm badges? <laughs> oh yeah, I had, I had all of them. <laughs> all of them? Yeah. I got loads, but they, it stopped them. giving me them. I was very angry. I, I bugged got, out. <laughs> I got the same one ten t I got the same one about a dozen times. Oh, I got my level I got my level one Barry the Bookworm reading badge about twelve times. So. Oh nice. <laughs> I think they removed my Barry the Bookworm badge. I'm I'm quite annoyed. I'm disappointed. In <laughs> Whoa. Ten Absolutely badges achieved. Disgraceful. Whoa. How do you think I got all the Barry the Bookworm badges? Yeah, badges on Microsoft Teams. That's gonna be a new petition. We need to have badges. Like, yeah, there's nothing we, need we can say. There are, there's awards. Yeah, but they're not really the same thing. You can't put them on the front of your Edmodo profile and wear them as a badge of pride. Yeah, exactly. I still like how my Profile picture hasn't changed since year seven. Oh, oh one of I my know. teachers keeps praising every student that submitted work. <laughs> oh yeah, that's so. Only some teachers do it though, which is interesting. Maybe some teachers just hate people. Just really don't want to praise them. Useless yeah, students. Um, yeah, it's like uh, I don't like I don't like the class. I think we should um, also mention six forms as an interesting thing to talk about. I don't know. Because... I don't know, chief. I don't know. Seems pretty. What six awesome. form are each of you trying to get go to? Yeah, that's a good. I don't know. That's that's the thing. Like, I want to get in hills, but at the same time, I don't really mind about long. That's just my take on things. Hills, primarily. But, but you know. can only go to hills. <laughs> I know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I I'm planning to go to hills as everyone really, <clears throat> but like I'd also kind of prefer. Cast. What is Cast? Cambridge I, Academy I've, for Science and Technology. Yeah, that's just like, it's like a that. specialized engineering sixth form. Sounds pretty okay. good, honestly. So it's kind of exactly what I want, but apparently it's got bad Google reviews. Okay, okay, I'm just gonna look up the Google reviews for us right now. Yeah, oh, no, I wouldn't trust know. Google reviews there, to be honest. Like, the Google reviews about chests are pretty funny. Well, I think I just got an email today from Hills. Oh nice. Yeah, I got. Yeah, they keep sending yeah, emails. I, I got an Shut email it. just like an hour ago saying that if I get good grades, then I'm accepted. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't want to do maths, chief. But I have to say I'm doing maths, and then I can change it when I get there. Yeah. 
Yeah, you just rock up doing like maths, economics, and business, and then when you go there, you're like, oh, you know what? Oh, oh here we go. Lord. Here we go. Oh no, my cause... lord, how long is this? I okay, applied so for geography, just... economics, and maths because I didn't have the grades for biology. The expected grade. Why would you want to do biology? Because I don't <laughs> like maths. <laughs> what? And you chose biology instead? Yeah, I prefer biology. biology. I like biology. Do you get good grades in it? Yeah. I mean, yeah. Usually. Oh, right. okay. But more because, like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Okay. This was obviously written by some year seven. Okay, so my micro microwavable meal three months ago gave us a four star review. <laughs> From an academic perspective, the school is great. However, whilst I do believe the school cares about its students, there's a lot of progress when coming to reaching out directly to its students and making the connection between homework and mental health in general. Yeah, I know. I, I think I've seen this one. Isn't this back from like 2014 or something? No, no, it's three months ago. What? As a current student on average, it's literally about 2,000 words long. I must find around seven to eight assignments varying in length, difficulty, and how much we're expected to do per week. Whilst this may be a normal amount, it makes spending time with family and relaxing in general really difficult. <laughs> Not that Especially <laughs> when we're often being force-fed the narrative that teachers spend hours alone marking our assignments, when often they're not checked thoroughly, or even at all. And when they are, little feedback is given on how to improve. I'm fully aware that teachers may actually spend time marking, and I appreciate it may be difficult to to give equally thoughtful feedback to every individual student, but it makes homework particularly de de it makes homework particularly demotivating. What are knowing they that going often, on about? often the effort we put in won't be recognised or reciprocated. Where are they? Wow, from? This... Well, that sounds like someone with a gun to that. Them. <laughs> that sounds like someone from a private school. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Why do they care so Where much? Where the teachers like... get a lot of money. <laughs> I want to know who this money. was written by. Yeah, should we find out their full information? Go onto okay. their profile, do a little bit of searching about. <laughs> don't don't actually do that, by the way. That, that was that, okay. that that was a joke. Yeah. Okay, they they just don't have anything. One contribution. They've they have one review, no ratings, no nothing. This is the only just thing that they've one done. review saying. Just that one, like. Five A three pages review of text. How about it maybe if they'd use their skills to like do it in lesson, maybe they wouldn't have had such a bad time. You know what? Okay, how about yeah. okay, this guy this person actually has got some interesting things we can talk about. So what if I read out the, the next little bit and we can uh, discuss it? Free free content, you know. Personally, I find the majority of my time trying to work out ways of shortcutting my homework, trying to maximize the amount of free time I get. Obviously, this doesn't provide me with much actual knowledge and shows that I'd be better off without homework, or just more practical knowledge on how to revise effectively, instead of being told how and what areas to revise. Perhaps teachers could spend more time finding a way to give us more individual revision plans. This way, achieving higher grades with lower stress. That was all one sentence, by the way. Yeah, I feel like he's expecting quite a lot from a public school. Just to throw that out there. It just like, throwing it out there. Like teachers, they they have to work for the majority. Like some can, if they have time, can help you personally, but they can't help you in that much detail because they just don't have time. There are five commas in that sentence. Five. Oh, five. <laughs> well, if you'd done English, you would realise that you should uh, use some semicolons instead. Yeah. Maybe he exactly. should. Yeah. yeah. That just guarantees you a better. You need that complex sentence structure. Building. I guess some people just have bad experiences of school, and that's going to happen yeah, for every some school. some people will do. Like, I'm sure other schools, like, some people say it's better, some people say it's worse. I personally think, in the grand scheme of schools, Chesterton is perfectly it's fine. It's pretty good compared pretty good. to some of the yeah. other schools I've gone to. I mean, yeah. I have to say, the teachers are very good, the staff in general is very good, administration is what's bringing it down. Yeah. However... Well, in yeah. addition to all of the added stress of GCSEs, we're often taught ways of dealing with mental health. Personally, I appreciate the effort the school goes to to show that they care, but Mindfulness Mondays and simply adding <laughs> oh. a few websites at the starts of PowerPoints don't erase the heart of the issue, that being the detrimental pressure we're put under to meet our potential grades, open bracket, often not being accurate or flexible reflections of us as students and individuals, but rather as oh, points wow. of pride to wave around when sitting amongst groups of other children or stickers to hide in case of embarrassment. Close bracket, <laughs> and the results the school produces every year. 
Does, do they think anyone's actually going to read this? Well, we're reading it right now. <laughs> I, yeah, I, mean, we I are. personally think that he's actually got a point he's got about a point, like, yeah. mindfulness. Yeah, it's kind of touching how much pressure it's they put really on it. It's really annoying. But they just yeah. like... It, they should just get rid of it. <laughs> also, if you're listening to this microwavable meal, no offense, but use less commas. Yeah. Use fewer commas. Make your sentences shorter. Also... Yes. Also, uh, say less. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Stop Sometimes talking. less is more. Less is more. In fact, quite often. <laughs> Shall I read out the next sentence, which is oh, another yeah, well. seven lines? I, I think we. I think we should read Liz Stamp's review. It's a one-star review. Ooh. 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 Oh, I'm, no, actually, no. Where's, oh, Liz Stamp. <laughs> okay. okay yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. I'm going to read Russell Woodler's. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Two stars contender. eight months ago. <clears throat> I am sorry to say, but my <laughs> Don't French, French Johnson voice. But, but my French slideshow was not up to standard. It was a <laughs> poorly made, it was a poorly made and disgraceful slideshow. My eyes are now hurting. <laughs> Oh my god, does he think people are actually gonna, like, French teachers are gonna see it and be like, Oh yeah, I remember him! A bit moody from Snapchat starts talking at the end at an attempt to make the slideshow hip. <laughs> but I'm afraid to say that that miserably failed. You see, this is why you don't take French. Just don't take French for this um... sort of reason. Yeah, it, I feel like you don't really learn the language either, it's just how no, to pass GCSE. Also, so like, yeah. might I ask that why I am getting set to work from a year 8 slideshow when I <laughs> am not in year 8? <laughs> I, I, also, I also received an absolutely top quality diploma at the end. Ooh, ooh, ooh. It totally didn't look like something. I made in my ICT lessons in year two. Oh, wow. Before I go, I would like to say this is not a comment on the actual school. I have never been there. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so they've never been to the school? Yes, you get my like. You get my like. Yeah, that is a well, deserves a like. Well, yeah. a like. The, yes. uh, can I read Liz Stamp's review? Yeah, yeah, let's hear one, it, let's hear one it. One star? Not the worst school in Cambridge, but very close. The staff had no patience with students and any kind of learning problem. By the end of year eight, if they felt the students' grades were not to be high enough, they shipped the student off to CRC. That's not <laughs> true. So the overall is, grade average of the school does not drop. I think that's more of an urban, urban myth than anything. I don't think that actually happens. Okay, but have you ever seen someone with low grades at the beginning of year nine? Uh, yeah. No, but they're just shipped off yes. to pavilion, aren't they? Me. Um, no, actually, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I did so badly in some year nine tests, I swear. Their idea of helping problem... What is this? I, I'm not reading it. I've had enough. The idea of helping problem students is to shove them in isolation, <laughs> which is a, oh Wait, this okay. Is the so old basically, one, I, I swear I've seen this one stamp here is complaining about the fact that uh, they did things that were against the rules and so got sent to isolation. Yeah. Yeah, oh my god, just much. take it! Like if you break the rules and you're doing really badly and you get sent to isolation, you're just gonna have to just take it. Oh, not Liz Stamp. Hold on, it wasn't uh -oh. Liz Stamp, oh. it was Liz Stamp's daughter. Unfortunately, my daughter experienced a lot Liz of... Liz Stamp is the mother. Unfortunately, my daughter experienced a lot of homophobia from her teachers and head of oh, year. What? The point I had to pull that out is, is Okay, no, this that's is false. false. That's false. That's false. The last thing you'll experience in Chesterton is homophobia. Yeah, how can teachers remember so many names? Like, I just no, want to know. I don't know. Like, how? It's like, what sort of, like, crazy memory have they got? It's like, Although, damn. I suppose we remember the names of most people we know, so I suppose it's just recognising them true. when you see them. I mean, you don't care. You don't talk to anyone, mate. <laughs> you just don't talk to anyone. Yeah, good point. But even the people I do talk to... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I cannot name half the people in my history <laughs> class, and that's a class of, really? like, ten people. Oh, wow. Unlucky. Yeah. Wow. I, bet, I reckon you've never interacted with anyone apart from us. 
Just a theory to throw out there. <laughs> Possibly. <quite laughs> that awful. is actually kind <laughs> of true. It's always really confusing to me when I see someone that just like knows a bunch of other people. Like, wait, I was supposed to socialize How is that this whole time. But yes, you Why were. did no one tell me? <laughs> you were. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't really like, matter. Like, I just have a group of friends and that's who I talk to. Yeah, to well, be fair, you don't enough. really, it's not necessary to know everyone. You're gonna leave everyone when you go to sixth form anyway. I think, I think we're gonna have to, we should save some of the reviews for next podcast. We should just yeah, spend the whole probably, podcast going yeah. through these reviews because they are hilarious. Yeah, I know, they're great. Yeah, they're, they're great. So they're definitely cute. great. <laughs> I reckon we should what, do, go over some of the older ones because those ones are funny. What I'm just going to say though is that Tech Chan Shami, who is a principal, but that's actually in his name, it's, so it's Tech Chan Shami Principal, uh, 10 months ago said, Excellent in all fields full of learning ambience. <laughs> <laughs> there nice. you go. Nice. Ambience. Ambience. What really? is learning ambience? Ambience. Nobody even knows. Maybe it's just like something fancy. I think it's ambition. Oh. Yeah. I think he tried to say ambition. Or maybe, or maybe he's saying that the atmosphere <laughs> is like a learning atmosphere. Yeah, he could be saying that. Because it's, a, it's certainly Google translated, and I think ambience and atmosphere yeah, can be. Yeah, that would make sense if they get mixed that up. That would make first. sense. That's possible. And maybe they, maybe they just spelled it wrong when they did it anyway. I would probably. I'd yeah, probably maybe it just got yeah, autocorrected to the wrong oh, word. Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. I just don't understand why people write reviews on Google for it. It's like, why? No one, no like higher up in the school is ever going to read this stuff. They'll never read them, they don't care. They're not writing it for the higher ups, they're writing it for other people that go there so they, so that other people can don't. Have a yeah, but who, who so we can have looks a at the Google reviews? Yeah, they write it specifically for yeah. us to have a laugh. They write it just yeah. for our podcast. Like, I went to all those people, I'm like, you know what? Could you write a review of the school? You were like, planning yeah, this five yeah. years ago. Yeah, I know. I've been playing this yeah, my we, whole life. Exactly, you know? exactly. When I was still in primary school, this is your life's work. Mm-hmm. Exactly. The mag it's the magnum opus, you know. <laughs> yeah, we just wasted it on a podcast. It's you the know? masterpiece Fun. when we just wasted it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. I didn't think we'd make it to this point. I thought we would kind of die out at twenty minutes. Yeah, no, we yeah. succeeded. I mean, we got we got here. We got here. Yeah, like I looked at how far we'd gotten on the topic list like ten minutes in and I was like, wow, this is not gonna this last a full time. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, so uh let's uh I'll say uh, goodbye everyone so thank you everyone for listening or watching don't forget to podcast. like comment subscribe just like the traveling teacher we gotta bring him yeah. up next time well, we, no, don't, don't diss him he knows exactly how to use a green screen don't don't diss him all right so yeah thank you very much for watching and i guess we'll see you all in the next episode of the in podcast the next one. Yeah. Next bye bye <laughs> bye